Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis. We're gonna do a guide for the normal version of Vex Obscura that is gonna get you your weapon um, and also your intrinsic upgrades if you rerun it. Also your season 16 rewards will be drops. So you will get a chance to get your weapon. You're gonna work on upgrading the intrinsic part. The only thing you're really not gonna get is gonna be the catalyst stuff. <clears throat> but that is gonna come from Legend. That will be a separate video. Now my goal in this one is to have a little fun with my new exotic. But whatever damage output super you got, that's only the that's the main thing I use it for. Mostly because it's um, kind of a one-off just to do chunks of damage on the boss. Main thing is you're going to have unstoppables on this version. So whatever the unstoppable is, if you see it now or three months later, whatever the unstoppables are, you got to handle that some way. So I've got a scout rifle for that. I'm going to run a strand one here. I've got solar because you are going to have solar shields everywhere. So this is always a nice way to kind of just dump through those guys. And then I want some way to put out a chunk of damage for critical hits, specifically on the boss if I can. Uh, he moves around a lot, so this may not be the best. I was using Galahorn before, but try not to use exotic weapons if you got anything that's going to help your build over here. I mean, I've got time dilation. I've got void and solar weapon surge to help these hit a little bit harder. Void and solar damage resistance. It's Cabal. I am running a Bonk Hammer build, Burning Maul, because I want to have fun with that. So I'm just kind of leaning into these things a little bit. Soul Invictus. So I've got my Sunspot build playing into that one. Solar and Strand. Siphon, Heavy Ammo Finder, all of those pieces are there. I am running high resilience, but so far it didn't feel that threatening. Uh, unless you just let yourself get overrun or stand on something that's going to like fry you from all these little fire spots. But that intro out of the way, let me show you guys how this works. At this level 1800, it's not that bad. Just be patient. Because you do have to go through each chunk without dying. Legend will be a separate video, probably when it comes back in rotation. And that one, probably have to be a little more diligent. But the timers aren't as bad, so let's go in. Alright, so when you start, you do not have a timer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take out a few of these enemies here. I like to take out everything outside um, before I ever start the timer. I do this on normal and also on legend it's just a way to kind of smooth up your process a little bit here should be one more dog around here somewhere you got your colossus he's not so bad now i also will drive over here i will kill the unstoppable champion because when you come out of the hangar the timer starts you may as well clear these guys up so you don't have to worry about them so again i have a few that you got to worry about but now, normally I don't fall. I like to pick them off from above. And again, just the less enemies that are waiting for you, for me, just makes life a little easier. So I will hunt these guys down because there is no timer. So you may as well do it now. Now, if you start and you don't have full ammo, go hit a rally flag. Or honestly, an easy thing to do. Just start the higher difficulty version of the mission, and then you'll um, have full ammo, and then just come back to orbit. Still wish you would start every actual activity with full ammo, but that's just a me thing. All right, going down in here, you're gonna have a few of your ads and two turrets. Those are the ones that'll probably melt a little bit, but this isn't as stressful. Cabal are not sentimental about such things in war. Everything is expendable. So again, on Legend, it is not that bad. Uh, or on Normal, it's really not that bad. On Legend, you'll feel it a little bit more. So once you get around this corner, you want to start being a little quicker because this is when the timer is going to start. I usually bust out of the door. And then I jump on a sparrow. I don't want to mess with these guys, but I also don't want that tank to get killed. Legend difficulty, this is more of a thing, but being on a faster sparrow typically helps. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to focus on the tank behind this rock, so I'm not dealing with a bunch of other stuff. Now, the tank, you want to hit the wheels for a focus. He would not move. Now, I want to kill the couple of miniguns we got. Again, you have eight minutes here. It's way longer than it used to be. There you go. So when that is down, you want to push up because you're... Uh, look for your Scorpius, but your tank is going to be coming. 
Now, the first thing you're going to want to focus on is the thresher that comes in. You want to kill that thresher first and early. It's going to help your tank stay alive as long as I can learn how to drive this thing. Now, again, normally I would be driving a little quicker, but I'm going a little slow here. I'm trying to kill more of the adds, though. So forgive me, my driving is pretty poor on this one. When I go Legend, I'll be a little more, you know, precise and have a better plan. Thresher is big, though. Thresher kind of knocking you up with those tracking missiles kind of hurts. When you get here, you are going to be looking to target the two tanks. Don't forget your missiles, along with your big cannon. The cannon is good for long-range big shots, but the missiles will add up and do solid damage as well. So it's good to look. Now, this one... You can line up a shot to hit those things. It's just one less thing you have to do a little bit later. Let's run these jokers out of town. So again, always be moving here. Trying to like pass through and shoot what you can. So really focus again on the wheels here. Alright, tanks are down. Now we're looking for our ship if there's one around. But our goal is to hit these. And also look for your big scions and the miniguns. Sorry, driving backwards here for a sec. And this is why it's like, don't forget about your missiles. They will do you some work. There's your thresher. You want to take it out? Because just the tracking missiles really hurt. They just do. There, take it out early. Look for these. Those big Scion shots hurt. You can run over all the dogs. And again, you used to have way less time. Once the shield generator's in front, these things are down. Then you're able to actually, like, take out the towers. You can look for these Threshers. Those are the ones that hurt the most. And again, if you think your tank is going to die, my advice... Go find another platform before it explodes and grab a new tank. You have time to do it. Nothing working against you right now. You may as well. So again, you're going to hit the three little generators in front of each tower. And then when those towers are available to actually have the shields down, then you're able to go for them. So for me over here, I got to hit one more generator. It looks like you kind of have to hit these things from the right angle. It's like something where you need to hit it from the front. Now I've got a decent angle where I can hit it. Thresher does come back. So again, focus on the Thresher, but now the timer is done for the moment. So, should be at a good checkpoint. I wouldn't like suggest dying, but it's not a big deal if you do. You're gonna have a few more of these Scions. The dogs are gonna like pick at your ship, but you can usually blow them up pretty easily. And then here, it's a little less stressful for a minute. Once you go inside, timer number two starts up, but again, it is longer than it used to be. Now, you do have an unstoppable champion up here, but you can take him out with your uh, tank. And when he goes down, not so bad. So that's one of the unstoppables. It is literally one of the few, though. These guys aren't necessary, so we'll just do that. Now, you do need to break that wall, so you're going to need a tank for that one. Then you're good. You can't drive the tank inside, but you got to bust up the wall. So make sure everything you got's reloaded before you come in here. Because this is when you're going to hit the ground running. Jump on in. Where are these troops coming from? So hit your rally flag oh, first so you kind of get started pretty so, fast. You're going to have some enemies up here on this ramp, so I just kind of light it up. You're going to have some across the way. Again, I'm using something with, like, Hatchling, which is decent, but it is a legendary weapon, so I figure it's kind of a decent trade for you guys. You are going to have your first unstoppable here. He's going to be marching up to my side. But again, with Heavy, I can kill him pretty quick because I've got my armor charge working. And that's why critical hits are good. The rockets weren't bad. But being able to go with that linear fusion rifle, for me, just works. But there's so many options for normal difficulty. If you are just farming this thing, it is really, really not too bad. Kind of, you got a lot of flexibility. Nothing's going to be too stressful. 
If you got any grenade or anything you can throw down these openings, we'll kind of clear up a little bit of a path for you. Really, dude? There we go. I'm gonna grab an orb for armor charge. As soon as you jump down, figure out where everything's gonna be. I like to use those cannons to kind of clean things up. Clean up a little bit of this in the middle will help, but make sure you're forward enough that the door behind you doesn't open. Kind of like this. There you go. You want to make sure that door doesn't open, but if it does, then you just go in and clear it out. So again, this is where you do want solar. So every one of these scions, you got to go come in here, go in the shield to hurt it. And then these guys going to be attackable. Once he's down, you just need to hack the terminal. And we got to do this on two more rooms. And just kind of cover everything as you go. This is one of the new elemental orbs. So it's just part of the artifact build. So again, scout rifle for range helps because it just lets me hit some stuff that I want to from farther away. The turrets. But again, I can stop the unstoppable from range, be consistent. I'm so far away, but I can still send Threadlings out there if I want to. Watch these. These are the things, especially on Legend, that will hurt. But yeah, they, those guys go down quick, and that's why I'm loving it. And Taipan is craftable. It's one of those things everybody should own. Now, this door will open. This is your second wave. Nothing too bad. Just be patient. Biggest thing is like starting the time over gets to be annoying. So if you just don't worry about that so much and just be cautious, you should be okay. Anything where like picking up an orb is going to give you, give you health. That's a good way to go. Pick up health, get your health regenerating both of those like better already and stuff like that. Those are really going to be beneficial. And again, I'm not sprinting this through, through this thing with like a record run. If that's what you're looking for, different <laughs> different guide, different time, all that stuff. Right now, I'm just looking for apparently the one scion who's hiding behind me. All right, same thing. Grab some ammo, grab an orb. Any way to make orbs consistently for you is going to be a big thing. Come in here, kill this guy. And again, these little orbs are just kind of fun to have. They last for about 20 seconds. Now, when you get all three, you're going to be coming back to the middle section to head towards the boss room. It's going to be the big round door. That's kind of why I brought this thing with me. I know I've got a lot of ads down there. Hopefully that thing can put in some work, but you're going to have a lot of turrets in here. So you can send a couple of threadlings around. Should be able to get a little work done while those threadlings take out the big guy. Same thing here. When you get close to the door, it will open. So I'm going to grab my... Uh, Actually, it's just on a timer, it sounds like. I just usually run faster. And you're in boss room time now. And you still got 10 minutes. That's why I was like, do not rush this thing. Legend will be harder. But right now, don't rush it. So you're going to have ads coming out of the top. So if you can work on the groups, that'll be good. Again, look for your boss. He's going to be down below. Look for your ads. Why something precision works. He moves a lot. Would be good if I could actually hit him. Apparently, I'm out of range. So make sure you're reloaded. Look for your look for your ads, though. Look for. And this is where, like my super, I do want to use it on him. And he'll do his like abilities. And again, as long as you can do something to consistently chunk his health. There you go. Now, when you get his health far enough along, you're going to have all of this craziness happen. Okay, I probably was in the absolute worst spot possible, I think. To have three miniguns on me. That's where I should have just popped my super, but that's ridiculous. Uh, fire helped me a lot there. So I would advise when you get his health down to that first third, be somewhere that has a bit more cover than what I'm showing you. Because between miniguns and all the ads, I don't think I could have picked a worse spot. That's so ridiculous. Somehow survival happened, but I'm just going to go ahead and take the 
take a little bit of a lucky moment between fire helping keep me alive between my soul invictus and my burning hammer and sunspots i know that helped me there so when you go to lower his health don't be dead center probably going to keep you live a little bit more i'll show you guys what i'm talking about on the next phase because that was ridiculous and if something like that happens to you well if i was just literally in any other half second i would have probably been dead <clears throat> but when you get him to this point, you'll notice you've got um, adds you got to kill, but he also got more scions you got to deal with. So these are the ones, again, you got to be inside him, so you got to move around the arena. And then we will be on boss damage again. I'm going to give it a little bit because I want to use a super on him. Now, he will do this occasionally. You got to find your big orbs to shoot yourself out. Now, it's always hard to get close to him. That's one of those things. Now that's a big super hit, so you can tell my chunk of damage on him is pretty major. It's not going to take long and everything's probably going to spawn. So I'm probably going to do this to myself again. If I get much more health on him, death on him though, he's going to be mad. So look for your adds, try and clean stuff out. They're on a consistent spawn base, it's not like you can ever be rid of them. But trying to be in a little bit more of cover will definitely help. These things kind of suck. Now, he is almost at that shield point. I'm just literally on the brink. So if you need a point where you need to get some health back up, take a second. Like, don't force yourself to do more than you have to. Notice I've still got seven minutes. This thing used to have about a 10-minute timer. Now that it's got a 15-minute timer, Legend will be easier for sure. But this normal version, do not rush. No reason to rush. I can probably hit him with one of these, but I want to do it from a better cover position. Your other option is to be in the middle, so only one or two of the uh, turrets are going to see you when you do this. So now you're going to have them spawn. And they are definitely going to be everywhere up here. So if you get these guys to stop first... I love when my ammo falls away. So that's step one, is just to be able to do that. Then, again, work on each damage phase. you got to kill the Scions. He is going to be a little more active. I can throw a hammer and set off a sunspot and kill a lot of things. I know not everybody can do that. But again, that's where use your abilities. Watch him, see what he's doing. Again, find your three scions. They will be in the same position, so you don't have to go hunting for them. But you just got to be aware of everything that's around the room. And then we're good. So depending on what you're doing, like what class you're running, what build you're running... This should be your last damage phase. And these are the things that will probably kill you the most. Those things suck. So when they start firing those, be ready. And this is why you don't want to linger too long on damage if you can help it. Because these are terrible. I wouldn't suggest a fusion rifle there, but it kind of worked. And again, trying to use cover where you can. You've got floors that you can use down here. Anything to make and pick up orbs. Probably also going to help. But yeah, use your cover. Watch for everything happening. This is when you get this late in it, the, he uses every ability he's got. Now I was low enough on health I could go for that one. For an aggressive run. But it may take some trial and error. I remember running this thing about, you know two years ago, whenever it came out. Season 16. Yeah, it's been a while. So when he's dead, you're going to come up here and hack the terminal. And then you're going to get your weapon if it's the first time. You're going to get your season 16 weapons. You're going to get your intrinsic upgrade if it's your first few times you run it. You'll be able to run this thing like three or four times and then farm it if you want the weapons as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. It's going to get me trinary vision. That's my intrinsic upgrade. And then a couple of weapons as well. So let's get back to orbit and we'll wrap this up. So that pretty much wraps it up. Again, that was not exactly an inefficient loadout. But it did have some advantages. I know for solar and my super was powerful. But, you know, using Gallahorn to clear out giant groups of adds can be beneficial. As opposed to relying on my bonk hammer. Things like that. You've got a lot of options in all these. In all your builds and loadouts and everything. Strand would be great in there. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can use. My advice, as you saw, you've got solar damage coming at you. 
and you're going to have some void damage coming at you between those two. Uh, solar is big. Not a whole lot of arc in here. There's a little bit from the boss, but it's pretty minor. Uh, whatever weapons you're bringing, have something for solar shields. Those are definitely still going to be around. Uh, if you've got anything for wiping out a, groups of ads. I mean, you're like an Iclos SMG in here, you're going to be clearing out ads. You're going to be jolting and chain lightning, jolting with striker. Like, you could do a lot of work there. You've got a ton of options and ways to tackle this. That's why I tried not to use an exotic weapon because there are many, many ways to do this. I mean, retrofit escapade. If you've got this thing crafted previously, you're going to be able to put in some work and just like mow down everything in the entire place. Have something for a few solar shields and then have your unstoppable weapon of choice. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like below. If you've got comments, commentary or anything, let me know. If you found it useful, hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell. I've got a lot of stuff coming for this, but I'm also going to be dropping my Destiny review or sorry, my Starfield review. Got to get out of my head. Uh, that will be tomorrow. And then I've got a plan for guides coming for Starfield for a couple main things, uh, big giant tips, and then at least a couple other main sections. I don't want to do spoilers on anything, but definitely want to show you guys some of the options that are there. I've put a good amount of time into the game and I can't see anything else more to till tomorrow. So hopefully you guys enjoy that one. Hit the like. If you want to find me on Twitter or Twitch, it's Ebontis and right here. Thank you for the support. Subscribe, hit the alert bell. Lots to come.